They said no revving, guys. What are y'all doing? Guys, I'm at a Kawasaki Good uh, Good Rides Tour or Good Times Tour. First bike is my former bike. This is the reason why I came here. I've been trying to ride one of these, but nobody gives test rides at dealers no more. Not like in the old days. So this is my first time on my old bike. I'm gonna ride some other ones today. I'm gonna ride a uh, Ninja 400, but starting off with my old baby. Man, I forgot how this thing way leaned over compared to my Vulcan. Uh, man, you guys have no idea how excited I am. I've been trying to wait for one of these to come to Tampa for like a year. The other thing that caught me by surprise or I forgot how it was was the where the gear shift lever is, it's way behind me. I'm so used to being in front now. Hope I don't fall over. <laughs> nah, riding the bike is... Why is the ABS light yellow though? How do I change the modes in this thing? Okay, it's on low, looks like. Oh, traction. I want traction on. I'll leave it up too. I don't know, maybe they want it on low. I won't, I won't be a bad boy. I'll leave it the way they said it. Man, this thing is way leaned over, guys. I am not used to this. <laughs> oh, forgot how it is. I remember I used to lean on the tank a lot with my elbow. But I will say it's so smooth compared to my Vulcan. Oh, I still got it. I'm good. Camera's a little tight. Oh, this thing is so beautiful. Oh, man. So many good times on that bike, guys. My wife actually likes this bike more than my Vulcan because on, on the uh, Vulcan S, she's sitting down, like behind me a little bit lower. And evidently I got a big head. I feel like my Vulcan is a little bit more nimbler. But I'm sure once I get this thing leaned over, it's uh, much better than my Vulcan, stability wise. Brakes are way more powerful. I should have rode my Vulcan here so I had a direct, like one after the other comparison, but I know my bike pretty well. Hopefully you guys can see it pretty good. My camera is set up for my Vulcan, so hopefully the GoPro is capturing everything. I see they got a fuel gauge and a gear shift indicator now. Uh, on the 2013 that I had, that was not the case. Put in neutral. Good. All right. Yeah. So I've been waiting for this thing, guys, for for this kind of tour for a long time. Um, Barney's in Tampa kept telling me it was coming, but it's been a year and uh, I decided to finally just check Kawasaki's site just out of the blue and I checked it last weekend when they were so they already had one session last weekend and now they have this one This weekend so luckily I caught it just in time because the next one's in like Miami, I think and then after that it goes to like up north somewhere or so out west i don't know i forget uh, but they do a, the whole country you know 
Yeah, look how far back my foot is. Usually I'm like right here. I want a wheelie. Yeah. You can get in trouble with this bike for sure. It's only a 636. I can't even imagine like a 1000. I've never ridden a 1000. The most I've ridden was an 899 Panigale that my, my buddy Pavel had. But I canceled turn signal I did. And I'm on low power, I'm pretty sure. See where it says L? This is way more power than my Vulcan. My Vulcan's torquey, but this thing is like another world. You know what, I'm gonna put it on full and then set it back when I get back there. Let me try it once uh, I let him go. Oh yeah, throttle is way smoother than my bike. Clutch, my clutch is a little easier, I think. But my bike has, like, when you go from first to second, it's a little, little clunkier. Like when it when it hit, when it gets into gear, and no matter like what I've tried, I can't get it smooth. This one is smooth. I wonder if it has a uh, what's it called? Speed shifter. Sorry guys, I'm just rambling. I'm just so excited. <laughs> you have no idea. This is like Christmas. Let's go for it. full throttle. I can't get full throttle because the instructor's in front of me. Or the, the leader. This is the one thing I liked about having the old bike was I could just lean on my elbow here and it'd be, you know, pretty comfortable. On the Vulcan, you know, with no screen on the Vulcan, uh, you're basically, you know, getting blown around. And I, I had a screen, like a zero gravity, I think it was. And uh, it, the buffeting was insane. So I got rid of it and I just deal with it. I don't, I try not to ride pure highway. But yeah, I try not to uh, ride full highway on my Vulcan because just the wind is insane. You're just holding on basically at 80 for like dear life because uh, it's trying to blow you off the bike. Uh, here the screen is nice. I remember on my on my you know, old 2013, um, you know, I had a zero gravity as well, double bubble, and that was you know perfectly fine on the highway. Just tuck in a little bit and you're good to go. On my bike, you can't really tuck. Um, you know, it still, it still, it still hits you. They said no revving, guys. What are y'all doing? Okay, I'll give it a little bit of gap. That was probably 85% throttle. Okay, that's all of it right there. On low mode. The gear shifter is like... It must have a quick shifter because I, I barely touch it in the shifts. Alright, we're back. So let's see what bike we get in line for. They try to prioritize new arrivals, people that come a little later, so it may not be the same group of guys next time.
right, not bad. All right, so stay tuned for the next one, guys. All right, guys, second ride of the day. I had to wait two hours between my. Okay, guys, guys training? Nope, all good. Uh, between my ZX6R ride at 11 and now this one, I had to wait two hours, so it's one o'clock. Hoping to at least get the, Z the Ninja 650. I've been eyeing it hard. Uh, since you know sitting here for two hours much more relaxed ah this is a familiar sound sounds like my uh old 300 that i had yeah just like it uh same thing here so ninja 400 versus 300 got a fuel meter got a gear indicator i think my old 300 did not have a, a gear indicator um, so it looks like they improved the technology a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is way smaller. Still a little sporty. Uh, my knees are, you know, the shift lever and stuff is still kind of under me or behind me a little bit. Not like the Vulcan where it's out in front again. But certainly smaller tank, so you're sitting a little more compactly. Levers are not in the bad position. My Vulcan ones are like right here. So this is still sporty, but not I'm not leaning on the tank with my stomach like I was on the 636 over there. Nice little bike. Let's see what, what it drives like though. So this bike has no special modes. It's basically one setting, no traction, no power modes like the ZX6R. So I'll be able to test out the full repertoire of this machine. breeze feels so good you know what this thing don't ride too bad way better than my 300 was it's nimble seating position is good this is a nice little bike It looks better than a 302. It, it looks honestly not very far off of the CX6R. Has a similar front end. I'm impressed, guys. Honestly, I am impressed. This is definitely better than I remember my 300. Which, you know, granted was like eight years ago. I had a 2013. But it, this definitely feels like a bike you could ride for many, many years. Only thing I prefer in the ZX6R, obviously, is you know the raw power and the sound. I don't like the way these smaller motors sound. I prefer the four cylinders. Yeah, this thing's got a little power to it. Yeah, back brakes are better than my Vulcan. Give me a second. Look for traffic. Yeah, so I would say power-wise, this is not far off. Even though it's probably 10 horsepower or so down from the Vulcan S. Um, I think it's lighter. So the power to weight is, is improved. And honestly, 
it doesn't feel much slower than my Vulcan S. Yeah, this thing, this thing's great. This is a solid machine, guys. I would give it a nine out of ten, honestly. This is a this is a machine. Keep repeating it, but honestly, I, I don't know if I'm trying to convince myself or what, but I'm I'm convinced. I have I've done convinced myself. It's only got a front brake, uh, one front brake disc, I think, but it's a lot grippier than my. What are we doing here? A lot grippier than my uh, Vulcan. I'll do a quick walk around once I get off. Sorry I didn't do that for the ZX6R. Looks pretty good. Looks way better than a 300. Let me do the walk around of this ZX6R. That's over here. I used to hate this front end, uh, but it's grown on me a lot since I've seen it in person. Online, I didn't like how it looked. Let me give you guys a walk around of the whole, the whole kit and caboodle here. We have the Z900 RS, the ZX6R, and we have the Z900. Uh, this is the Ninja 1000SX, I believe. Correct. I think I saw that somewhere. Then we have the Versus. I think this is the this is the 1000. Then we have the Ninja 650, which I want to get on. Then we have the Z650 RS. Then we have a Z400. Or sorry, this is the Z650. Then we have the bike that I was just on, the 400. KLX300. KLR650. Z400. And then the Vulcan S that I have today. So. Alright. All right, guys. Next up is the 650 Ninja. It's my third bike today. Probably the last. I doubt we'll get another ch another chance, um, but we'll see. I'm really hoping this bike is a mix of the 400's comfort and at least a little bit of the ZX6R's performance. Oh, this tank is hot. Oh, oh, this seat is even hotter. Oh my goodness. I like the spinometer on this thing. Feeling good, man? Feeling all right? All right. Nice suspension. Seating position feels good. Very 400-like. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it sounds pretty good. Sounds very similar to my Vulcan, but maybe a little sportier. A different can on it, obviously. Stalled there, guys. Embarrassing. So, this one has a thousand miles on it. It's got a coolant temperature uh, display, has fuel, has gear, digital miles. Alright, let's see if this feels like my 650 Vulcan. This thing is way better than my Vulcan. Pretty sure. Yeah. I like this. It's pretty nimble. Obviously, I can't really get a feel for the nimbleness because I'm not leaning into an exit ramp or something, but it's 
certainly has power. And I do like that, unlike my 650, this has a screen on it, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't be as bad in the wind on the highway, for example, as my 650 is, or my Vulcan is. Because that thing, honestly, on 80 miles an hour on the highway here, which everybody does 80 here, so you have to do a minimum of 80. Um, it can be a little tough to the point where you're holding on so tight against the wind that after about an hour or two, um, it starts to get really, really uncomfortable. Controls are similar to my bike, pretty much identical. space here. We'll punch it. Yeah, that's way faster than my bike, guys. It must be it must be geared entirely differently. Because that is quick. It's not as fast as a ZX6R, but it's well maybe it's just the, the way that I'm leaning it makes it feel faster. 2022 looks like solid machine. Yeah, I like the fact that I can lean on my elbow again. That's a nice, for me, uh, comfort thing, especially when cruising on the highway. I like that my feet are under me so I can stand up a little bit to stretch my legs. That's nice. So the 400 you can do that too as well as the ZX6R. On my Vulcan Pass because my feet are in front of me like this, you can't do that. I do, I do recall liking to do that uh, on long trips on my ZX6R. Yeah, it's got plenty of power. I'm gonna have to talk to my wife, guys. We might have to trade the Vulcan S in for a 650. Well, there we go, I got a little. That's nice. You guys know how I was impressed with the 400? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm even more impressed with the 650. This is a nice bike. Yeah, that'll do. I'll do one more walk around. All right, guys, so the Z900 was taken, so I'm gonna do my first ride ever on a 1000, on a leader bike, a Ninja 1000 SX to be exact. This is a big boy. Let's see what it's like. Oh, look at the size of this tank. Still, uh, still pretty comfortable seating position. A lot more buttons and stuff. Okay, it's in sport mode. Looks like it has gear, fuel, just like everything else. Um, temperature sensors. Oh, it's even got an outside temperature sensor. Uh, I don't see the mileage on this guy. Um, probably somewhere here, no, 
uh, got lean angles and stuff too even 1455 miles max lean left right somebody did 27 degrees and 38 38 degrees that's not bad all right let's give this a try oh it's got a inline four or something on it i don't even know what's what kind of motor this is guys so apologies for that but it's not a, it's not a v-twin for sure ninja 1000 cx pretty smooth not gonna lie it feels good sounds good though so this is the last one we're gonna ride so far the 650 ninja is by far hands down the best bike I rode today it's a perfect mix of the comfort of the 400 and then and the Vulcan that I have with a more sporty look and feel uh, compared to the Vulcan It looks very close to the ZX6 soft. Alright, let's do this. Holy smokes! That wasn't even That wasn't even anything and I think it was Oh my Lanta. All right, so seating is very comfortable. This bike is very comfortable, just like the 400 and the 650. Uh, no pressure on my arms. Legs are right under me, so again, you can stand up if you have to adjust something. Uh, whereas again, on the 650 Vulcan or the Vulcan S, um, you, you can't. So that's cool. Uh, I can put my arm down in the tank, just like the other bikes. If you were cruising it for a while and you want to give your left arm a break so that's nice I got plenty of power I'm only in, I'm in fourth right now and I have 4,000 rpm and it's like not a problem at all Yeah, this thing is an animal. I'll have to Google it, but I'm wondering if this is the same motor that's in the 10R. Uh, it's it's got to be pretty close. This a beast. Yeah, for daily driving, this is definitely too much bike. I don't I don't know why you would need a bike like this personally. Um, 650 is more than enough. I like how smooth it is though. My Vulcan S, especially downshifting from second to first, like towards, you know, when you get to a light, it's definitely on the clunkier side. And the throttle of it, which I did, which I did not actually talk about or experience on Ninja 650, but on the Vulcan S, um, like in traffic situations, uh, the the throttle is very choppy that's why you have oftentimes if you uh, go on to the Vulcan esque Facebook page or the forum you'll see a lot of the folks there are installing um, the name escapes me right now but basically it's a module that tunes out the, the choppiness a little bit But yeah, it's very, very herky-jerky. I've gotten used to it and I managed pretty well. But there even, it, for me, even there's, after five years of riding that bike, there's still times when, even for me, it'll get a little, I won't catch it just right and it'll, it'll you know, it'll jerk a little bit. So the 650 and this bike were much, much smoother than the Vulcan. It certainly is a, a heater though, I can feel it on my legs. Nice and toasty. That'd be great for New York uh, fall riding or early spring riding. 
Alright, there's a nice turns coming up here. I'm gonna give it a little bit of space and try to squeeze in some lean angle. Let's see, it's 27 degrees right now. I doubt I'll be able to beat that. That's the left, you can see it. Left lean angle 27 and X. Alright, here we go. Oh, I did beat it. I hit 30. 30 degrees, baby. I can, I mean, I, I definitely am enjoying the 1000. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know where you can use this power without getting into legal uh, trouble <laughs> uh, on a daily basis. Definitely gonna have to find more of these uh, demo tours, not just from Kawasaki, but other bike manufacturers in the future. You're good. One last final walk around. Looks good. Yeah, so that's it folks. That's uh, the ride. Again, I definitely enjoyed the 650 and the 400. Um, ZXSR obviously was great, but way too aggressive seating. 1000 was good, but too much power for daily. If I was picking a bike today for just cruising with the wife, be these two right here if you want a little more power 650 if you want just comfort hey you don't care about breaking the speed limit too much 400 the welcome that I have now is it's comfortable in its own right but um, I think it's I think these bikes are more comfortable believe it or not so these are my recommendations all right guys until next time peace